Hi, under pressure here. Doing a follow-up to my Sega uh, 12 gauge shotgun uh, review. Today was a massive Sega day. This is the Sega Combat ooh, sporting shotgun. If you've seen my previous video, I just got it and went 50 rounds to it, and eh, yeah, it was new and it was cycling and you know. Blah, 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 blah. Well, today um, we went for broke. I had gone in between the first video and today and just put another 50 rounds through it and didn't clean it. I know, shame on me. But didn't clean it. So we showed up today with 50 rounds of crap in it and I took my cleanest stuff just in case. I didn't need it. We shot 200 rounds of number 8 shot. Boom! Not a jam. Not a fail to effect. Fail to eject. Out of the stick max. All day long. 200 rounds of number 4 bird shot. All day long. No fail to feed. No fail to eject. Worked like a champ. Uh, and then I picked up a couple boxes of double lot and we shot those also. So we put 250 rounds through it today. Nothing jammed. Nothing. The only problem we had, Holden put a uh, magazine, the 10 round stick magazine, and didn't have it clicked in all the way and he got two rounds out and the magazine fell out. Uh, that was sort of funny and I'm not going to post it to embarrass him. Uh, I did post videos of him shooting, you know, number four, number eight, and double lot uh, prior to this video being on there. But, and again, it's open, nothing in the chamber, action's open. But we took it today and we gave it a workout and it came right back and it was happy and it just did fine. Um, all day long. This has really moved up the ranks into what I like and, and, and I like shooting it. You know, at first I was upset, I was on the fence. Wanted a KSG, couldn't find a KSG, found this, you know, for a going price. Uh, not the stupid price that they were going there for a while, like 900 bucks. No. But uh, I think I got it for 612 cheaper than dirt, shipped. 612 599 like 13 bucks shipping. But uh, this has really grown on me. The only thing I've done to it is put the Carolina Reliability uh, Kit in it. CarolinaShooterSupply.com, I think. $49. It comes with a new puck, a, a new gas puck, a new gas plug and a new forward uh, spring for the recoil system. All day long, it shot everything. No jams, nothing. It shot all day long. And that's one of the things that people complained about these Segas was the reliability. I'm here to tell you, I put the reliability kit in here, and it's reliable. It shot everything. Uh, it's. I'm impressed. Again, we were shooting no Magnums, no 3-inch. All of it was 2 and 3 quarters, standard, one and one eighth ounce uh, number eight shot, one and one eighth ounce number four shot, and standard double aught buck, two and three quarter. That's it. Shot everything. Uh, if you don't have one of these, you've been sitting on the fence. The one I got is a keeper. Uh, it shoots good. Now, what's funny is today, my Glock 21 jammed. Shooting factory ammo, American Eagle 160 grain, 165 grain, I think. It jammed out of battery. I don't know if the uh, round, it, it, it already discharged the round. Uh, I don't know if the round jumped off the uh, extractor or I, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to screw with it later or take it to the gunsmith. But it jammed. It, it won't move. Um, so that or I'll tell you something. That's a Glock, Mr. Dependable. And the Sega Combat ooh, Sporting Shotgun worked like a dream. Worked like a dream. Still didn't get the 20 round uh, drum working. If you put 20 in, the spring was so powerful that the action wouldn't cycle all the way. 19 in, still too much spring pressure and the action wouldn't close. 18, it would close. But we were just shooting the stick mats. Um, didn't have a problem. The 5s and 10s, all day long. We shot for like 4 hours. I'm, I'm not sore. I don't even have any red spots on me. Um, see? I shot all day. I'm impressed. This is the follow-up. The follow-up is go get one. This is one of the best combat uh, sporting shotguns that I have ever played with. That's cool to look at. You know, I mean, it's just 612, cheaper than dirt, about the same from Atlantic Firearms. Uh, again, I put the reliability kit in here and I put the this stuff right here is just for looks, you know. If if you keep the it's the standard with the the wrist instead of the grip, it's got a wrist on it, which is the part right here. 
So you'd be shooting it. If you had a standard one, you'd be shooting it, you know, like a standard shotgun. With this, you get the grip. But this is just decorative, really. This is just decorative. So it didn't do anything except for the reliability kit, and it worked all day long. If you've been on the fence, go get one. Uh, I cleaned it out. I use Hops Bore Cleaner, and I use Remington Spray Oil for my oiling. And after all those rounds, that's all the, the carbon there was. Yeah, I know. I was like, what? Uh, the inside of this, the bore is mirror. I mean, it's a mirror. Uh, I'm impressed. Probably one of the best $600, uh, $600 I've ever spent. Um, and we shot a lot of other things today, but this is the Sega day is what... This is the Sega day! for. Uh, so I posted videos of holding and shooting the, the, the shotguns. The shotgun. And uh, so that's it. I'll put some other stuff on, but this is, you know, a rope-a-dope Sega day. And it worked like a champ. On the fence, go get one. They work. Uh, or I got one that's a keeper and it does work. I don't know. I don't care. Uh... Vote, thumbs up, give me a recommendation, sign on, log on, I don't care. I do this for fun. If you don't like it, I don't care. Because uh, I do it for fun. Thanks, and have a good night.